So a fun um, way to add some variety to what you're working on is with some gradients. So I'm just, I have a background on my screen. There's really nothing to it. I took the lock off of it, but I just want a background. So if you need, like you're creating a sky kind of, and you want to start darker and you gra and kind of gradually get lighter, there's a button right here for the gradients. And sometimes you might see other tools. So I'm just kind of trying to give you an idea of where this is. So there's a gradient tool right here. And then I'm going to just kind of click in the direction I want the gradient to go. So um, I can change the direction. I can start it in different places. So as I click and drag, it's changing the way that gradient looks. So I don't like these colors. Maybe I want them to be more of a blue color scheme. So up here at the top, there is a couple different options. So I'm starting off with a, a linear and that means it's uh, it's kind of line by line getting gradually, but there's a, a radial. And if I click on the radial, I can click and drag. It gives me like a circular gradient. It transitions from one color to another based on like a circular kind of shape. And then there's other ones that you can kind of mess with as well. They all kind of work the same. I'm gonna go back to a linear one. So I'm gonna click on this button right here. And so I have, um, it's going from a, a one kind of pink to a purple. And you can kind of see the gradient. But again, I don't want these colors. So um, to edit these colors, I'm going to go ahead and um, double click on this, this color scheme that's there. And I can check some presets and see what I want. Like here's a nice one. It goes from like a color to no color. Like it's opaque. Um, it's, it's, you can see through it, um, which is nice. So you can pick some already designated color schemes. Some of these might work or um, you can change some of these boxes. So this color that's inside that box is this dark color and this one is that lighter color. So if I double click on this box, I can change that to an even lighter color and say, okay, so now my gradient is going to go from this dark blue to this new color that I changed or I can really drastically change my color to a yellow. And so that it's gonna um, transition from the dark to the yellow color. I don't like that. Um, so then the other thing I can control is how dark it is and how much light blue that there is. So there's a heavier dark blue air influence over here. So it's with this diamond here in the middle. The other thing I can do here when I'm editing gradients is I can add if I double click on this, I just added a new like paint box. So if I want more of a, a rainbow type of gradient, um, I have that dark blue, I have this red. So I'm going to double click again. I'm going to add maybe an orange and going to add maybe a green over here. I don't like that green. Let me change that to a different brighter green. And you can get different effects with your gradients. So now if I click and drag, I have that more radial um, rainbow shaded kind of gradient, which looks kind of cool. Now it is a little bit different. If I have a rectangle on the screen and I want to apply a gradient in this, it doesn't work to try to put the gradient in with that button. So I have to go find a panel called gradients. And then from there, I can click on the preset gradients that are available, and I can double click on the gradient to change the colors to the colors I want that to be. Here's where you would use the gradients. I love gradients for, if I'm creating a tree and I have like a triangle at the top, it might be lighter at the top and darker at the bottom to show some like shading. It gives you that impression that there's sunlight on the object. And I love that about gradients. Of course, it works really well for backgrounds and different things as well. But there's a quick tutorial on using gradients in Photoshop.